Here is your latest church apostasy news from tradcatnight.blogspot.com. My good friends, get to tradcatnight on a daily basis. Bookmark us and check in daily. We are the number one ranked traditional Catholic website in the world and now top 20,000 website in the world. An international blog focusing in on the message of Fatima and keeping you up to date on all the latest current events as we head closer to the fruition of the third secret of Fatima, which will be the formalized New Age religion under the false prophet and Antichrist. And then also Planet X is incoming, the material chastisements, all the earth changes that we have been seeing, quote-unquote climate change. Oh yes, folks, it indeed is in Catholic prophecy. Our Lord warned through approved visionary, seer Marie-Julie Jehenny, that this is the case. And nevertheless... We are on that path. Now, folks, sit down in your seat. Make sure you're ready to hear this one. Sh truly shouldn't surprise a whole lot of people because we've had a lot of traditionalists who, before they passed, like Father Malachi, war uh, Malachi Martin, warned us of the sodomite agenda. And now we have circulating all through traditionalist website today, uh, quote-unquote, the first homosexual marriage of a quote-unquote, Catholic priest. And again, those following Vatican II are only Catholic in name. We know this to be the new religion, the cult of man, as Pope Paul VI called it. Pope St. Pius X, before Vatican II, called it the impotent humanitarianism. Essentially, Vatican II equates to Freemasonry. It is the Novus Ordo religion, not the Catholic religion. It's very carefully packaged and presented to the faithful uh, as Catholic when we know, in fact, it is not. Now, we know under the banner of equality, which socialists and Marxists hide behind, Masons hide behind, uh, we knew this was coming. So we have here, coming from the Novus Ordo, as I mentioned, first homosexual marriage of a Catholic priest, 30 years of commitment to homosexual rights. Now, the name of this priest, Bernard Lynch, married his long-term boyfriend. This occurred in Dublin, Ireland. Bernard Lynch uh, from the Irish County of Clare is purportedly uh, a Catholic priest. Uh, since 1986, uh, he is an avowed homosexual. He also became the first priest to have, as we mentioned, a homosexual marriage. Lynch is 67 years old, uh, married, quote-unquote, his life partner, Billy Desmond, uh, with whom the priest has lived in a registered partnership since 2006. Uh, as reported by the Daily Irish Daily Mail on January 28th. 120 guests actually attended this quote-unquote wedding ceremony. This gives you an idea where we're at in the world. Our Lord warned that the days of the coming of the Son of Man would be just like the days of Lot. I don't know how many people try to argue uh, against the, the reality that we are living in the end times, but it's people who simply, uh, they simply don't care. They want to stick their heads in the sand like ostriches and move on with their lives, or 9 to 5, and come home and read their newspapers and watch their sports, and they truly are not interested in what's really happening in the world. Now, these two goobers, with prolonged applause, congratulated uh, were congratulated uh, by a wide variety of guests uh, when the clerk declared the two men to be husband and husband. I'll say that again. The clerk declared the two men to be husband and husband. In 2015, the Irish had approved the quote-unquote equality of homosexual marriage. We covered that, of course, here uh, at Trad Cat Night. Uh, five months later, the decision was legally implemented. Now, Lynch, in terms of a background, went to the seminary and maintained a long-term sexual relationship with another seminarian. He then left the seminary, uh, married, and found a, a family. Lynch, uh, on the other hand, was... Uh, ordained a priest in 1971. So Desmond went to the seminary. He ended up leaving, but uh, this other particular individual, Lynch, the main character, the main culprit, uh, was ordained a priest in 1971. Belongs to a missionary order, but has been committed to homosexuality since the 80s in the United, uh, United States in 2010. He was one of the speakers at a rally against uh, Benedict XVI when he visited uh, England. Again, <laughs> got to keep praying, folks. Got to keep praying the rosary. If you have questions about why Vatican II is not Catholic and or just simply the teachings on homosexuality, 
uh, you can contact me at Apostle of Mary to clear that up. Make sure you're subscribed right here, right now, on YouTube to Trad Cat Night. Make sure you click the notification button, which is right next to the subscribe button. It's a little bell, so you can get all the latest videos, news, information, and special guest radio shows coming to you Monday through Friday. Again, as I mentioned, tradcatnight.blogspot.com is the number one ranked traditional Catholic website in the world. Uh, many celebrities, actors, athletes, government officials follow this partic particular apostolate and are very curious about what we have to say as traditional Catholics. You can follow me on Twitter. Simply tr search Tradcat Knight. The daily news feed along the right-hand side of Tradcat Knight uh, is something that is often overlooked. Make sure you spend a few minutes in there because I'm relaying even further information in that area along the right-hand side. There's a quarterly poll question. There's a blog archive about one-third of the way down the page, about 7,000 blogs. Make sure you spend a good amount of time getting through all the blogs that perhaps uh, you have missed over the past 48 to 72 hours. Lots of inf information going out, uh, more so than any other uh, blog page, if you will, or website for that matter. Continue to keep me in prayer, folks. Continue to spread word of Tradcat Night to your church members, your friends, your family members. Again, you got to cut through, uh, cut through the the nonsense, if you will. If you're trying to understand this crisis in the church, please do contact me. As I mentioned, the sister site to Tradcat Night is tradcatnight.org. If you have news tips, articles, videos, blogs, your own contributions that you would like to have circulated, whether on Facebook, whether on Twitter. Or perhaps even a main blog, if I deem it to uh, be information that I would I would like to have in the main area, please do leave me your information as an email to Apostle of Mary at Hotmail .com. Uh, My good friends, in this information war, let's finish out this month strong. Last few days has been quite sporadic. Continue to support Tradcat Night financially. Again, this is an information war, and as we uh, grow, as I always say, we go and grow as your charity flows. As we continue to grow, it's going to provide us with more opportunities. Get to SGT Report on YouTube and you'll see my talk from yesterday. Uh, and a lot of good information being presented in that talk. It's another very popular alternative news uh, outlet. I'm going to do another talk with Sean in the upcoming months. And I will let everyone know my media schedule, I think, ahead of time uh, so people can kind of... Uh, an understanding of what to look for for the week i can tell you february 4th i'll be on rural survival again and that will be like a live call-in show which is always interesting because you have a lot of non-catholics uh phoning in and asking questions i'll get you the details over the upcoming week again continue to keep me in prayer click that paypal button get behind uh this apostolate folks and until next time stay safe and god bless